Hi, House Democratic Leader Christine Gregg here again for the weekly update from Lansing. So as I talked about last week, this was the big budget week. Governor Whitmer presented her first budget. And as we were expecting, she hit on the big issues facing the state, infrastructure. She proposed $2.5 billion to go into fixing our roads and bridges. And that number is based on study after study that have said we have underfunded our roads and they're actually getting worse. And to make sure that we fix it and fix it right, we have to raise an additional $2.5 billion in revenue. And her first proposal was to increase the gas tax 15 cents three different times to raise the needed funds to finally fix the roads. The other big thing was education. This is a huge change in how we fund education. $500 million additional into our education system and more money in for special education, at-risk funding, and lifting everybody up to receive more per-pupil funding across the state. I couldn't be more excited about the education budget. And then clean water, $120 million to address some of these really critical issues facing our state. You may have heard me talk in the past about PFAS, this chemical that's now uh, being uh, discovered across the state and with all the harmful health effects for that. We've got to get a handle on what the situation here is in this state and actually address the problem. So roads, education, clean water. She hit all those uh, points in her budget presentation. The other thing I liked is when she went through her proposals, what it actually did uh, was clean up the money coming into our funds and going out. So no longer do we have the shell game between our transportation fund, our general fund, and our school aid fund. With, it, with her proposal, as a starting point for the conversation, we now have what's collected uh, through the fuel tax, so that's gas and diesel, going to roads. We now have cleaned up the general fund that we're not paying for roads out of the general fund. That should come out of the transportation funds. Um, and we're returning higher education out of the school aid fund back to the general fund where it should be. So where the money's coming in is where it's invested and that's where it goes to improve our state. So the, that's just kind of broad strokes on, on her, her vision for the budget. Now it's actually the legislature's responsibility to take that proposal, talk to you, find out what your ideas are, whether you're willing to pay extra at the gas pump to fix the roads, and get your ideas. But I will actually go over it in a lot more detail at my next town hall, which is Saturday, March 16th at the Farmington Hills City Hall. Um, from 10 to 10.30 we do kind of a mix and mingle, just saying hello, and then we actually start a formal presentation at 10.30 uh, and it lasts till noon. Senator Jeremy Moss will once again be joining me and we will tag team to walk you through the governor's proposal and talk about ideas that we can, uh, that we can, com can propose as well um, as we move toward the final product for, for next year's uh, fiscal year uh, that starts October 1st actually. Uh, so that should be a really good discussion. Just a couple other things I want to throw on your radar here. Um, March is reading month, and that's one of my favorite months to get out in the community and read to the kids, but I'm challenging you to do a lot more reading too in March. Read to your family members, just grab a good book yourself, but let's really promote liter literacy all across the state. And it's also Women's History Month. Um, I, you can't really see it, and the next one I promise I'm gonna take you on a tour of my office, but I'm surrounded by portraits of, of groundbreaking women in the state of Michigan. The first state representative, a Democrat, a first state, the first state senator elected, a Republican, and the first woman to hold a statewide office, our state librarian in the 1800s. So just a few women that have been trailblazers here in Michigan. So with that, I'm gonna leave you for the week, but I hope you'll join me in my town hall, but also again next week, I'll give you an update of what's been going on in Lansing. See you soon.